The video game Subnautica depicts an alien planet with many exotic underwater ecosystems. One of these is a lava zone where molten lava stays in liquid form under the sea. Is this possible? Click to see spoiler. Oh shoot. As a geoscientist and a huge Subnautica fan, I'm sorry to come in late on this. No, the lava depicted in the lava zone is completely unrealistic, but so cool. Let me comment on the pieces of the answer that people have already given, as, you, little underscore mouse points out, real underwater volcanism on Earth doesn't have much glow to it. The water cools the lava so fast that it's almost all dark except for a few glints of red. Their video was taken at shallow depth by a scuba diver. Here's a video from 1km deep, similar to the lava zone in Subnautica. Link no glowing pools, no red lava falls. Water is a fantastic reservoir for heat and the fact that warm water rises lets it carry away heat by convection really really well. You, President Rex has a great analysis of pressures and the phase diagram of water, but there's one thing they didn't realize. Hot supercritical water is always less dense than cold, as shown in the graphs here. Thus, there will be no stable layer of supercritical water. It would be buoyant, rise, and be replaced by cool water, carrying away heat by convection. What if the layer of water near the lava surface had a ton? of salts dissolved in it, so it was denser? As, you, Basmanbiff points out, the thermal radiation law applies to everything, not just rock. The supercritical water layer itself would glow. But that's clearly not what we see in Subnautica, and in any case the water above this layer would still convect, rapidly cooling it just as if it were lava itself. Finally, as, you, unique user the second points out, there's a thermometer in the game, and it reads 70 degrees C in the active lava zone. That's probably a reasonable temperature. Actually note that in the video I linked to, the submersible isn't damaged by the volcano's heat, and, you, little underscore mouse, s video was taken by a scuba diver swimming just a few feet from the lava. But this is nowhere near the temperature at which stuff starts to glow no matter what stuff. As a side note, several people are commenting on air pressure and O2. One thing's for sure. The way Subnautica handles air and breathing at depth is completely wrong and trying to dive the way you can in Subnautica would kill you dead. Nobody in the real world has done a dive on pressurized gas to a depth greater than 700 meters, the people who've done it to a depth below 100 meters only do so with hours of preparation, a special gas mixture, and slow cautious pressure changes, and even then many people who've tried to dive below 300 meters have died. The vehicles and sea bases behave as if they are at sea level pressure, if they weren't, they wouldn't implode if you take them too deep. But you can't just hop from 800 meters of pressure into your sea level pressure vehicle without dying immediately. And let's not even talk about how moon pools work. Of course, a realistic approach to lava and air pressure wouldn't make for nearly as fun a game. 